Can you believe no primer or undercoat needed? This is Bedeck multi-surface paint, soft white gloss, and I'm going to be doing a review. So, my name's Stephen from In Exteriors Painters and Decorators, and you're watching In Exteriors TV. Right, so let's crack on with this review. This is the Bedeck multi-surface paint, soft white gloss. Um, it paints wood, melamine, plastic, radiators, MDF lead, masonry tiles, plaster, not that you're gonna to wanna to paint your newly plastered walls in soft white gloss, fiberglass and more. It's an interior and exterior paint. Um, this is the first time that I've used the water block base gloss. So, the brushes that I used to use it with, uh, that's it, these Hamilton Prestige, these Hamilton Prestige synthetic tip brushes, which are ideal for using water-based paints. Now, although there's a multi-tool of surfaces you can use this on, I use this on the wood. So let me just show you, give you a brief look at the um, wood, the, the, the condition of the wood that I was using it on. Right, so you've got an idea of the condition of the wood that I use this on. Now, since using it, I am convinced that if the wood was like a cream colour or gardenia colour, it would have re required free coats. And also, if you're going to be painting a porous surface like bare wood, it says to water it down like 25% which is um, understandable. Now, make sure you give everything uh, uh, a good sand down. I sanded down all this woodwork with some 80 grade sandpaper. Um, then I gave it a dust off and then a, a, a vac up. Then I used a synthetic tip brushes to apply it. Now, I found that it was really easy to use um, you, you don't want to be messing around with it you just sort of want to get it on you don't want to be using it in direct sunlight as well because it'll probably go off really quick so you maybe you want to pick your moments um, before you know pick your moments in the day so if you know it's going to be a hot day try and get out there a little bit earlier in the morning or sort of do it in the evening you don't want to be doing it in freezing cold conditions. Your brushes wash out in water, which is always a bonus. And yeah, I just can't believe really what I was using. And I can't believe now you can get these multi-surface paints that you don't need no undercoat with. And they're water-based. Um, the, the, the covering power, I'm not sure what it would be like going over darker colours. But I do know when I've used the satin and the doors were a creamy gardenia colour, the, that did require sort of three coats. And I'm sure it would be the same with the gloss. So be prepared to give it um, extra coats if needed. But I don't know how many coats it would um, need if it was covering over grey for example so i think i will try out its covering power in another video all right now let me give you a, a walkthrough of the finished product of using this all right let's have a look at this radiator and these frames have only just been finished so they're still wet
and this side of the stairs was done about three hours ago. Let's move up the stairs. Now these stringers did have free coat and so did the treads and risers. And that was because on the um, treads and risers I was only able to paint it on real thin each time. But everything else has had two coats and it's all still solid. See, I can't believe that I was able to just use one tin on all that woodwork. Now, another couple of other things I forgot when I went off camera while I was showing you the um, walkthrough was it's a two to four hour dry time. It's recoatable after four hours and it also takes um, 30 days to fully harden. But there's this on the side of the tin here. And I've been sort of trying to pick at this. And it is like quite durable. So how durable it is, I don't know because I've not done any sort of scratch tests on it. But uh, I, every time, well, put it this way, when I've done the Zinzer All Coat review, everybody says about this. So there's got to be something good about this. Um, so to sum it up, it's a... A multi-surface paint, no primer or undercoat needed. It's really easy to use. Additional coats may be required, say, on um, creamy colours. I'm not sure how many coats it would take over dark colours. I'm going to do a video on that. And that's it's, it paints basically every surface. Like I say, you don't want to be probably doing your plaster, new plaster in gloss. But yeah, so far so good. I was really happy. It was really easy to use. And it's really, even like this and the Zinzer All Coats, are starting to change my mind with how I, I want to start going about decorating. Because why would you not just want to use one tin? The primer undercoats and top coats. Right, that's about it from me. So thank you very much for watching and take care.